I wanted to make a very simple device to compare uh, transformer coils and other coils in the high inductance range. Uh, so not for short wave or, or radio applications, but more transformers and on frequencies say between 10 kilohertz and 50 kilohertz or so, or 50 hertz. And this is my first setup for such an experiment. Uh, in fact I'm using this schematic here. Two coils in series and each coil has a connection to a voltmeter, that's here and here. And when these coils are exactly the same and we apply an AC uh, voltage from a certain frequency to these two coils, uh, the voltage will divide equally, completely equally. And when we uh, take out the second coil and replace it by a resistor here, we can uh, change the value from that resistor till the voltage here and here is exactly the same. And then we know that uh, the AC resistance from both uh, devices is the same, so we can compare it and we can use this formula in that case. So I want to demonstrate now, here I have uh, two trans uh, transformers, 230 volts at say uh, 20 volt secondary or so, and I'm comparing them now by this circuit. In fact I use this circuit, I want to tell more about it later. The switch is now in the compare position and I measure the voltage parallel to these two identical transformers. And here you see uh, the result. I measure here approximately 5 volts and here also approximately 5 volts. Now I switch to the measure position here and with these two potentiometers I can um, search for a value where the voltage parallel to both coils is exactly the same. Hope it's visible. One meter, one pointer moves to the right, the other to the left. And when we when we have a, the balance, the exact balance, uh, we can measure the potentiometer here and say that um, this resistance here in the coil that you are measuring is the same as the AC resistance here. So that gives an indication and you can use this formula to find the, the exact uh, AC resistance from that coil. Well, perhaps it's interesting to show how I really made the circuit. Uh, transformer, 18 volts, 50 hertz, AC. Here is a power resistor. Here are the two coils. This is the measuring unit, the voltage meter, the other voltage meter, and here we compare when we put the switch to this position. We compare the coils, and when we put the switch to this position, we can measure the AC resistance from this coil when the voltage is exactly the same and we can use this formula 
to find out the AC resistance from that coil. I have to say that the matter is quite complex and it's only a first setup, uh, a test circuit. I want to get more in detail about um, this circuit and measuring inductance. Measuring inductance for radio coils is not so very uh, difficult. You can use, for instance, these formulas. The resonant frequency from a coil, radio coil, and this is also another way to find out the resonance frequency from a radio coil. And what I found out uh, uh, peculiar in my opinion that also the secondary from this transformer had not a very high uh, inductance. I want to demonstrate it now. I'm now disconnecting it from the meter Connecting it to my uh, another measuring device that I've published on YouTube, and here we see the secondary winding from this AC transformer that delivers approximately 24 volts, exactly the same as this one, oscillates on my test oscillator that I've published before on YouTube. This is the oscillation. So the secondary from a 24 volts transformer oscillates here in my case in this situation on 358 kilohertz. And you can use this formula to find out the inductance from that secondary from the transformer. My camera zooms in and out. Sorry for that. So it's a very interesting subject to study and do experiments with. Here the circuit again. This is a power resistor. The reason is that it can get hot on low um, inductances when you measure low inductances etc. Only a first uh, experiment, first idea to get inside in uh, these kinds of coils. Transformer coils.